Welcome to this video. We'll show you how to import and set up the Elementor templates and create beautiful front-end dashboards easily. It's important to mention that this tutorial focuses on configuring a front-end dashboard for a multi-site network. However, you can use the templates as it best fits your needs. If you have not downloaded the templates, you can use the link in the description to preview and download them from wpfrontendadmin.com. Besides installing and activating WP Frontend Admin and Elementor on your multi-site network, you need to install and activate the Elementor header, footer and blocks plugin. It will allow you to automatically display the dashboard logo, menu, and page title in Elementor free. Also, you need to install and activate the WP Menu Icons plugin, which will allow you to add beautiful icons to your menu items. Besides, you need to install and activate the Shortcode in Menus plugin. This will allow you to add shortcodes to menu items to create the view user site and logout buttons in some templates. Also, it will make shortcodes work as links in buttons in Elementor free. Once you install the required plugins, you need to open the front-end dashboard site. Once there, you need to select the site logo in the customizer. This is really important because our dashboard templates will automatically load the logo from the customizer. Take into account that the site logo settings will vary from theme to theme. Once you select the site logo, you need to create the dashboard navigation menu. This menu will be empty by now, but we'll add the dashboard pages to it when we create them. Just enter the menu name and hit create. Importing the Elementor templates is really simple. Just go to Save Templates. Now click Import Templates. After that, select the template you'll use from your computer. Click Import Now. You'll see the imported template included in the list of saved templates. Let's see how to set up and use the Elementor templates to display admin content on the front end with a few clicks. We need to create a new page. Just add the title and click edit with Elementor. Once we are in the Elementor page builder, let's change the page layout to Elementor canvas. This layout allows us to create a clean Elementor page. Now we need to import the template into this page. In the Elementor library, click My Templates. Now insert the template. As you see, the template was loaded on the new page. If you don't like the colors or any element, you can use your creativity to customize the templates as you wish. As we told you, the site logo element will load the logo from the customizer, but you can also use a custom image as the dashboard logo. Just take into account that you may need to apply this change to all the dashboard templates or save this page as a template. If you move to the menu element, you can select the navigation menu you created some minutes ago. This will be the front-end dashboard menu. If this is the first page you'll add to the menu, then you won't see any menu item yet. Some of our templates include other automatic elements like the page title. Also, we've added the view user site and the logout buttons to our templates. However, there are other templates for which you'll need to manually add these buttons to the nav menu, but don't worry. We'll show you how to add these buttons to the nav menu in the last section of this video. Once you've selected the site logo and nav menu, configured your own colors if necessary, and made all the changes you want, you could save this as a new template, so you don't have to apply the same changes to all the new pages. Just click Save Options and Save as Template. Now add a name for the template and click Save. Now you can add the front-end admin shortcode in the content area of the template. In this example, we'll show the WooCommerce products list. We need to add the URL of the WP admin page between the quotations and the shortcode. Elementor won't show the admin content on the front-end in editor mode, so you need to click Preview to configure the front-end page. You will see the admin content displayed on the front-end in Preview mode. Maybe you'll see that the templates are not perfectly aligned in Edit mode because of the Quick Settings panel of WP Frontend Admin, but then you'll see that the header and the content will be perfectly centered. You can select the page title. The URL slug. The page layout must be Elementor Canvas. And the menu where this page will be added. 
you can also hide any unnecessary elements. If you hover over the admin content, the plugin will highlight any invisible content, so you can remove it. Use this setting to simplify your front-end pages. Also, you can hide any notices generated by other plugins or themes. If you want, you can also change the admin content text to customize your front-end pages even more. If you're creating a front-end page that lists your products or any other post type, you can disable unnecessary columns. You can use these checkboxes to restrict content based on WP Ultimo membership plans. If you don't mark any plan, the page will be available for all plans. You can show the user's own content only, or the content from other users of the same site. Finally, you can save the changes for this page. The page has been added to the menu, but the menu icons haven't been added yet. We'll add them in another section of this tutorial in the menu settings using the WP Menu Icons plugin. If you want to display multiple content on a front-end page, you can use Elementor tabs. For example, we'll add two tabs. One will be for WooCommerce customers, and the other one will be for WooCommerce orders. Just edit the tab's title and enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode in the content. Now let's edit the other tab's title and enter the WP Frontend Admin shortcode in the content. Remember that each tab's content needs to have the URL of the WP Admin page you'll show in the frontend between the quotations. As you see, the WooCommerce customers are displayed in the first tab. Also, we can see the WooCommerce orders in the second tab. We'll configure the front-end page as we did with the first one. Let's select the title in the URL slug. The template is the same. And the dashboard menu so that the page is added here. We can hide any unnecessary elements. and any unnecessary notices from other plugins or themes. We can also edit the texts from this page to customize it even more. Finally, we can select the WP Ultimo plans that will have access to this page. Now let's hit save to apply the changes to the first tab. After that, let's edit the other tab to hide any unnecessary elements and change texts. Once we do that, let's save changes. After you've created the dashboard pages, you can add menu icons to make your dashboard look more intuitive and beautiful. Go to your nav menu settings. Once here, select the menu icons for each page added to the menu. You can hide the menu labels by selecting yes in this field. Now just save the menu settings, and you can see how the icons look in the front end. Finally, we want to show you how to add the view user site and the logout buttons to your dashboard nav menu. Just head to the nav menu settings on your dashboard site. Now add a custom link item, where you need to paste the short code and add a label. We'll set the view user site to open in a new tab. Now let's add a menu icon to it. Now let's add the logout button shortcode and add a menu icon. You can find both shortcodes in the description of the video. Finally, let's save changes to our menu. As you see, the view user site and logout buttons have been added to the nav menu. Of course, this is just an example, and it will be useful for users whose favorite template doesn't include these buttons. 
This is how the normal users will see the dashboard. This is how a page with multiple admin content will look in the front end. And when users click the view my site button, they will be sent to their own website. For example, their WooCommerce store. Once they hit the logout button, they will be asked to log in again to view the admin content. It's important to mention that by default, when someone opens an admin page in the front end without login, we show a login form in the same page. However, you can create a custom login page and redirect your users here. More on that in the next section. To create a custom login page with Elementor, you just need to create a page with all the design elements you want. Besides, you need to add a shortcode element and paste the WP Frontend Admin Login shortcode to display the login form. You won't see the login form here because you're logged in. However, this is how users will see the login form. Let's redirect users to this custom login page. Just open the WP Frontend Admin settings in the network dashboard and paste the custom login page URL here. Finally, save changes. Now users will be redirected to the login page when they try to view a front-end page or logout. You can preview and download the dashboard templates using the link in the description of this video. Remember that you can customize the templates as you want, adding your own colors, fonts, etc.